Okay, I'm going to explain very quickly how plants, minerals, and soil life work together to allow you to grow the most nutrient-dense food possible. And it's really all about the biology of the soil. So here's why soil bio biology is so important. Plants uptake nutrients in the soil through water, but these nutrients have to be able to be dissolved in the water to be pulled up by the plant roots. A lot of the nutrients plants need are wrapped up in organic matter and different rock minerals. They aren't soluble, so they can't be taken up. Over time, the free soluble nutrients in the soil are used up and the plant has to figure out how to access the nutrients in the organic matter and the minerals. So how do they get these nutrients? In acidic soils, sometimes these minerals are broken down naturally, but most of the time, the living bacteria and the fungus in the soil are the only things that can break these nutrients free for the plant to use. Now, when you use synthetic conventional fertilizers and pesticides, they kills all the beneficial organisms in the soil that are able to release these nutrients, which is why you have to continually spoon feed your plants when you're using chemical fertilizers. The goal of true sustainable agriculture is to stimulate the living organisms to release those nutrients, which is really nature's true fertilizer. Now the problem is that one kind of bacteria can't necessarily release one kind of nutrient for, from one specific source. There are thousands and thousands of different bacteria and protozoa, and they all have different jobs in releasing these nutrients. You have to call a plumber, for example, to fix your pipes, uh, maybe an electrician to fix your electrical, and it's the same thing with biology. Luckily, the entire system is really designed to do this. So the plants take up the water and the nutrients in the roots, but they're also sending sugars called root exudates down into the soil to feed the bacteria and the fungus. Now here's the magic behind it. When a plant needs, let's say, a little bit of zinc, it will send certain sugars through its roots to feed a certain type of bacteria that's able to release zinc. So the plant takes up the zinc and can continue growing without being stressed. Now when it needs copper, it will feed the same copper releasing bacteria and the bacteria will mineralize the copper and the plant will take it up. It's like the plant is almost incentivizing different kinds of organisms um, into slavery, if it depends on your viewpoint. Okay, so that's cool, but why does this make better food? So plants uptake nutrients through their root systems, uh, and they're photosynthesizing to create new compounds to, to keep the plant growing and healthy. Like humans, plants build carbohydrates, proteins, fat, and a number of other compounds, and it's pretty easy for plants to build carbohydrates. Most conventional fertilizers make it possible for plants to build a lot of really simple carbohydrates. But most proteins and lipids are longer chained compounds. They're a little bit more difficult to synthesize. They require a complete set of, of 30 to 60 different minerals in the soil in the right quantities in order to be synthesized. I've heard that vitamin B12, for example, is completely dependent on there being enough cobalt in the soil, for example. So here's why this matters. Why does this make you healthier? When you have the full availability of all the minerals and nutrients your plants need, they'll build more protein and fat, more minerals and vitamins and phytochemicals and essential oils. And all of these things sound familiar because it just so happens that Americans could use more of these compounds. Also, it just so happens that when the system is really functioning, when the plants are cranking at 9,000 RPMs, they're creating longer chained compounds. It makes the plant also more resistant to pests and disease. No pests is a phenomenon that a lot of organic biological growers see when things are really doing well. You don't see any pests and disease on plants and trees in nature because it's nature's way of eliminating the weak from the system. So the conclusion is that when you feed the soil with amendments and fertilizers that add nutrients but also aren't harmful to soil organisms, you get healthier soil, which leads to healthier plants without chemicals on them, which leads to healthier people, obviously. So grow your own nutrition, use nature, honor the complexity of the system. This, to me, is one of the coolest parts about gardening.